Later. Peace. The doses. Monday, September 8th. The morning. Oh, Steve's parcel. And another note from Tess. Hey, M. Here are Steve's oh. contracts. I bet you're in the mood for some light reading. And now without sarcasm, really, I must admit the energy here is contagious. <laughs> is Adit actually going to take off? See you soon. Tess. Good morning, Miss Weiss. Uh, good morning, sir. I didn't see you there. The name's Walter Morgan. I'm with the Postal Service. I left you a oh, message on your answering you machine about... earlier this week. Ah, oh, yes, I remember. Ah, oh, yes, too. I remember. Miss Weiss, if you could follow me into the office, I would like to ask you a few questions. Okay. Are you familiar with the Postal Service policies? Mm, to be honest, no. To be honest, no. It says in Chapter 11, Section 3, First Paragraph. There's a wheezing I'll in the chat if anybody wants to put it. It is forbidden to bitch. use Postal Service property for personal gain. Okay, sounds oh. reasonable. Okay, sounds reasonable. Miss Weiss, I'm aware that you've only just begun working here, but I trust that you do not take the responsibilities of a postal worker lightly. I'm the definition of integrity. If you look up the definition of integrity, it has my picture next to it. The Postal Service puts its employees under the highest level of scrutiny. I advise you to answer the following three questions truthfully. A yes or no will suffice. Okay. Do you know Frank Coleman? Yes. yes. Have you ever given him envelopes or received envelopes from him that weren't postmarked? No. Are you aware that Frank Coleman wages bets on baseball games? No. That will be all. Thank you for your cooperation. Oh, yeah. I fucking lied. I like Frank. You're welcome. You're welcome. All right, let's see. Let's see where we got to be. It's not too not too busy. What are we doing here? Pick up more uh Bert's movie box. Got to go to the campground again. I like the people from the campground. Um, I wonder if we ever have to go up here. Wicked. I don't think so. I think it's just going to be around here for today. Letters. Letters and whatnots. All right, let's hop in the van. Top let's hop in. Morning, PO. Complaints in Monday mornings. The perfect combo. All right, there's nothing to the left, right? Oh. Uh, Take it away, Bert. Morning, JR. Way. I'm afraid Let's go this way. SP from me again. People who come camping here outside the season just bugger off already. <laughs> Loud and clear, Bert. Just like today's weather. We're starting the week sunny, but a few clouds will appear closer to the afternoon. Enjoy your day and the music. Enjoy your day and the music. All right, you get your mail. You enjoy it. There you go. There we go. This person's gonna get their mail right over here on the it's raining tacos. It's raining tacos. Woo Savage Banana, thank you for claiming your daily taco. Mm. How are you doing tonight? Look like bills. Don't want the bills. Hello. This is a very relaxing game. Hey, hold on. You want to fight or something? You want to fight? You look like you want to fight. But I thought. Alright, let's deliver this package. Stop dragging your feet. Stop dragging your feet. I'm doing great. What about you? I'm doing pretty great. Where are we at? 104 East Street. Yeah, today's been a good day. Uh, 
I've got a package for you. Something tells me you're not going to be home, though. Nope. No answer. I'll just drop it right into your door. I wonder if that van's still, uh, still glitched into the, into the ground from yesterday. That was funny. Off we go. Hi, B. How are you? There's no such thing as traffic laws here. Alright. I'm gonna stop by Bert real quick. Hello. Doing well, just working on my puzzle. Oh, the Marauder's Map puzzle I saw on Facebook? That's a that's a cool puzzle. Are you gonna glue it when you're done? Ooh, Bert's back here. Mr. Bert! Yes, hardest one I've ever done. I bet there's probably a lot of confusing pieces because all the it's pretty much all the same color. Hi there, Meredith. I suppose you've come to pick up that VCR thing you dropped off earlier. The movie box? Yes. Did you watch it? Yeah, I did. I did. Took some figuring out Ooh. how to hook it up to my old TV set, but I got it to work. Good watch. Shark looked a bit fake, though. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> but you liked it, not my cup of tea, to be honest. I saw it in the theater at the time. Pretty exciting. I saw it in the theater at the time. Pretty exciting. What is that game you're playing? It's called so Lake. Anyway, I got a Andy review key for this uh, from the developers through catapult.gg. Yeah, um, the I game is twenty dollars. So. It's on Xbox, Maybe PlayStation, one day. and Steam. Well, it's a it's a very relaxing game. Hey, I mean, the there's not much to it. Thanks. See you around. Premise of the game so far is we're taking two weeks off from our normal job from the big city to come back to our small town where we grew up, where we're taking over delivering mail for our father who's on vacation so we're taking vacation to do more work apparently so uh yeah and there's you know we're getting to know the new people that are in the town getting to see some old faces from when she grew up um yeah i mean this is uh this is pretty much the game it's very like i said it's very relaxing it's a nice change of pace from what we've been playing we got to bring this movie box back to the video store Hopefully she's not in a crabby mood. She wasn't doing too great yesterday. Let's see, let's throw that back in there. We can close this all up. And we're back in the van. Oh, and the, mo and the movie. The, the game takes place in 1986. It's raining tacos. It's raining tacos. Priscilla, thank you for claiming your daily taco. You're welcome. Hello. Okay. It's raining tacos. It's raining tacos. Bernadette, thank you for claiming your daily taco too. It is. It is a Taco Tuesday. Oh, we're taking this turn hot. And this is the lake, by the way. Very pretty. I can out look to my right and drive at the same time. That is not a good idea. This is the farm. The guy's nice. He's also the radio host. <laughs> he runs a farm and he runs the radio. And uh, this game is from an ind independent developer, too, so, I mean, like, it's not polished, but it's actually pretty damn impressive for an indie game. Oh, shit. I missed, <laughs> I missed my turn. Wait a minute. We gotta go over to the campsite to deliver mail to the stoners. Going from the back way. Just easier. There's 
a turn right here. Thank you for that sent for link, Priscilla. So again, if anybody wants to use uh, my my link there to get some sent bird, you get 50% off your first month. You're also supporting me if you order. Um, the picnic areas for the older kids. If you order through a subscription, any kind of scent bird, fragrance, cologne, perfume. Picnic here. Um, and you only have a week left to do it because uh, that's how long the sponsorship is open for until next week, next Tuesday. Here you Hi, go, it's your Meredith. mail. Hi there. Here's the mail. Thanks. On your own today? On your own today? Sort of. Mickey's in the RV. He hardly slept last night. Said he had hallucinations of rotten fish in the RV. Why would he stay in it then? Did he have too much of the funny stuff? Did he have too much of the stuff that makes you feel funny? Well, actually, when I went outside this morning, there was this huge rotting lake trout right below our window. Totally grossed me out. How does Thank something you for hydrating like hammy, Priscilla. There? Ew, disgusting. Uh, why would I have a suspicion? Who? Ha ha ha. I have a suspicion. I may have... Oh, hold on. Mickey's got to read this. Bum, 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 bum. Thank you for giving Hamie a treat, Brandon. I you have uh, alone, such a I'm super story. I was going to watch the stream yesterday, it's a letter but then I fell asleep before it started. Oh, oh no, right, you're good. Yeah, Sleep's okay. more important than my stream. Give me that. You got to get your sleep. Looks like we won't be here much longer. I mean, there's days where I'm too tired to stream, and I'll just go right to bed. Oh, really? Where are you going? Oh, really? Where are you going? We're going to Canada. We will be picked up this Thursday, early in the morning. Canada for Canada? good? For good? Joe? They're coming to see you. Are you running your mouth again? I'm sorry, sweet Meredith. Gotta go. Hey, you know what? You should come by Wednesday. Our last night here. We'll build a campfire, Maybe have a drink, see <laughs> maybe a puff or two, you know, and talk about the meaning of life, of course. The complete outdoors experience. Uh, yeah, why not? Oh, cool. Yeah, why not? Joan! Awesome! Gotta run. See you Wednesday Gotta after run. sundown. Gotta run. Good, I have more mail to deliver anyway. Back in the truck we go. The audio design of this game is actually really impressive. I love it. This is this like crazy cat lady that always asks me to like drop her cat off at the vet? Not always, it happened like once. She's got like 13 cats outside of her house. It's actually pretty funny. There was a mention of the Mets, which is my favorite baseball team. And that made me like an instant like lover of the game. Like right in the beginning of the game, the guy's like, the Mets are playing the Giants. I'm like, yes! This game takes place in Ohio. Why mention those two teams? <laughs> what we got going here? Oh, I don't like this kid. This is a guy that like blew us off while he was playing a video game. Let's see if he's still playing that video game. This is a parcel, so we gotta get it out the back. Oh, where are we at? 400? It's the only package in there besides the videotape thing, anyway. And he's still playing that game! Hello, sir. It's the mail. Hello, sir. It's the mail. Excuse me, what's this all about? It's all about the mail. It's all about the mail. I'd appreciate it if parcels are not just dumped on the counter. I'd appreciate it if you'd act like a human being. I'd or we're gonna be a dick back. You'd act like a human being. You'd understand if you had any idea about what I'm trying to do here. Setting up a computer system to handle all the bookings is quite sophisticated. Hmm. Oh, interesting. I work on computers, too. Oh, interesting. I work in computers, and too. I can pay attention, Delivering right? computers does not mean that you work in computers. <laughs> no, this is just my temporary job. No, this is just my temporary job. Yeah, this is temporary for me, too. Excuse me, but I have to get this done. 
What a douchebag. I'm gonna talk to him again. Don't bother him. Unless he's just gonna... Is that what he does every time? I can't... I can't talk to him again. Alright, well... I hope it's a... I hope it's a box of dog shit. Drive it right into the fucking front doors. He's like really the only douchebag that we actually came in contact with. Besides like... <coughs> besides the Postmaster. That guy was a little weird. Supposedly the guy that like got us this job is like in trouble. I kind of lied on his behalf because I kind of like him. So I'm probably going to lose my job too. But I can't throw Frank under the bus. He's such a nice guy. He got in trouble for, like, sports betting. And... Receiving stuff, or sending stuff that wasn't postmarked. There's a wild Trevin in the chat if anybody wants to poke catch that son of a bitch. I gotta keep an eye on this map, make sure I'm not gonna miss my, my stops. Ooh. This is Bear Creek. This is where Robert lives. Robert's a nice guy. Probably gonna be the love interest of Meredith. Gonna be the one that makes her stay. Ooh, Bernadette's bought some Pokeballs. Wait, oh, you gotta put the space. That's the mechanic. Hey, am I supposed to? Nah. I thought I was supposed to. I was supposed to stop there, but I'm off. Today. I've got your mail. Been so long. <laughs> I barely, like, use the Pokemon game, and I have, like, so many Pokeballs still, because I just buy 100 at a time. <laughs> We have just one more spot to deliver the mail, and then we go back to the video store, and then we're done for the day. Fire hydrant, how you doing? Is that house? I would love to live in a small town like this, though. Like, for real. Here you go. Here's your mail. The music is so chill. You're going too slow for me. Peace. Oh, Trevin and escaped. All that work for nothing, Bernadette. It's alright, though. There'll be more. There's always more Pokemon in the sea. And the land. And underground. And in the dungeons. <laughs> Video store. Let's get the thingy. Better have an apology for the way she was acting. Otherwise, I'm not doing this for her no more. Oh, half price. The Kung Fu Kid. Are there any other like movie posters in here that are kind of funny? Gremlins, not Gremlins. Post blasters. The thermometer. Thermometer, yeah. <clears throat> the bee. 
high voltage repo woman the odd father oh my god these are funny what did I say the stony thriller photo display <laughs> friendly dead blade jogger LGM Space Wars Space Wars my favorite movie <laughs> T Sarface or Sarface Sussy Lee or Susie Lee I don't know the brunt, the brunch bunch. <laughs> All right, here hey, you go. Here's your movie box back. Oh, thanks so much, babe. Listen, I owe you an apology. Thank you. Yeah, you yeah, do. Yeah, you do. I was Kurt, just plain Kurt, and here you are delivering movies for me. You deserve better. Hmm. Hmm. It's okay. No one could be perked up all the time. Okay. I feel bad. <laughs> no one could be perked up all the time. I can't so, prod her anymore. Any idea what caused it? Business is slow. More than slow. I mean, the Flick Shack is in real trouble. That movie box kind of was my last-ditch marketing effort. Nothing's worked so far. Uh, that's awful. I'm sure it'll be fine. Chin I'm up. I'm sure it'll be fine. Chin up. Anyway, Chin up. enough whining. Let me make up for my stupid behavior and reward you for your diligent movie fairing, my lady. Reward me? There we go. Yep. I've got... Ta-da! Coupons! They're one of the few perks this job has. I get to take myself and a plus one to a free movie of my choice at the new cinema in Astoria. Valid tonight only. Mmm. Wait, what? You mean like a date? What? You mean like a date? Oh, you post people and your labels. But hey, if you want to call it that, sure. So what'll it be, Missy? You in or you out? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'd love to. I haven't said I'm no in. to anything Great. so far. So. Pick you up at your place at eight. I know where you live. <laughs> Spookily. Anyway, gotta get back to it. Bye. 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 Okay. Cool. We can kick Robert to the curb then. Hey, we got an achievement too. You hear that, Hammy? We got an achievement. Back to the post office we go. Where we stop? Oh, this guy's gonna get run over. Ah! <laughs> you can't do anything in this game. <laughs> Remotely bad. It won't let you. This is my backing up skills. They suck. That's better. Even going on a date, right, with Angie. Hello? Hey, Meredith. How was your day at the office? Uh, I mean, mail truck. That was perfect. Almost. Oh, hey, Dad. Um, up, up, up. It did start at the office. I was being interrogated. It was a normal day. No, that's better. Uh, yeah. That. Actually, it did start at the office. I was being interrogated. Interrogated. Dan, thank you for claiming your daily taco. You started asking questions about code of conduct. He had boring questions about uh, this. He started this one. asking questions about code of truthful. conduct and about Frank. Uh, Morgan, that walking corpse. He's always after Frank. What did you say? Nothing, basically. Nothing, basically. That's my girl. They'll never catch Frank, anyways. He's always one step ahead of them. Oh, that's good. Mom's I hope that's me. true. I guess we're not allowed to talk about work. Uh, here she comes. Bye, Meredith. <laughs> guess we're not allowed to talk about Hi, work. Hi, Meredith. Was Dad trying to get work stories out of you? Hi, Mom. Yep, you tried. And he succeeded. It was a weird day. And he succeeded. It was a weird day. Well, I'm changing the subject right now. Have you met that new guy at the hotel yet, Matt? Yeah, I met him the other day. 
What a jerk. A jerk? Ugh, I agree. He's one of the reasons why I won't miss working at the hotel. Anyway, how's life in good old P.O.? It's nice. I met some interesting it's nice. people. I met some interesting Thank people. Thank you for giving Hammy That's a treat, good Savage. Here. Interesting people. Do you mean interesting, interesting, or just interesting? Just interesting. I also want to take this time. If you guys want me to call you by anything other than your username, let me know and I'll do my best to remember it. <laughs> Might even like make like a little sticky note and keep it on my desk. But uh, yeah, let me know if you want me to call you by anything else. Or if you just want me to stick with your username. Um, but yeah. I mean, just interesting. What do you what do you mean? I think you could eat I could think you'd say interesting, interesting. Yes. I that one. think you could say interesting. You can call me Sam. Interesting. Sam! <laughs> oh, honey, that's so nice to hear. It's been a while since you've met someone interesting. You mean you don't want me to call right. you probably? And now I'm changing the subject. Do you miss Providence Oaks? Do you miss Providence Oaks? No, oh, Florida is fantastic. I think I might actually want to live here. Not me. Oh, I don't want to live in Florida. Sun. It's very easy to get used to. Oh, Dad is telling me to get back. Looks like the bar's open. Wonder what he's ordering this time. I'll get an Alabama Slammer. <laughs> Alabama what? Alabama Slammers! Cheers! Oh, they're having a great time. <laughs> Alabama Slammers! Yeah! Oh, there's Angie. Oh, I guess we left with Angie. This is fun! It's been ages since I've been to the movies. Well, they call it the movies, plural. But of course, we can only see one movie at a time. So, which one will it be? You pick. You're the expert. You pick. You're the expert. That's exactly why I want you to choose. The choice of innocent eyes. All right, let's see. Let's the see. Trouble in Little China, Blue Velvet, or The Great Mouse Detective. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. All right, I'm ready to pick. All right, I'm ready to pick. Blue Velvet. Blue Velvet. Good choice. This is going to be interesting. <laughs> It's very weird. I need to check and see how many days I mean, till I can I'm change kind that of again. Speechless. I was and wondering about that too. For me, that, I knew it you wanted to change it back. I loved it, and I never want to see it ever again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that about Not covers it. Detective. It's certainly singular. <laughs> At one point, I did uh, begin to detective. wonder: Do you think Providence Oaks has a seedy underbelly? Don't think so. Haven't found any ears lying around during my rounds. <laughs> well, give it time. Give it so time. anyway, my parents' house is right down this road, as you well know. Yeah, let's move. You can't take anything seriously, can you? I wish I loved anything half as much as you love movies. That one. I wish I loved anything half as much as you love movies. Next time, we'll do something in your area of expertise. You mean driving around in a mail truck? You mean driving it's around rain in a mail truck? It's raining tacos. It's raining tacos. Unworn B, thank sunset. you for claiming your daily taco. I like the sound of next time, by the way. I like the sound of next time, by the way. <laughs> Oops, what a slip of the tongue. Oh, yes. So, the doggo. Here we are. I love my now doggo what? emote. Well, we could have a cup of tea at my place. Well, we could have a cup Ooh, of tea at my place. Things are getting spicy. I would like that. Ooh, the hand. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Are we going to kiss her or are we going to? I'm sorry, but this isn't what I had in mind. Ooh, what's it going to be? What should we do? Tell me! I need to know. Tea, spicy, spicy tea. That's a, that's a combination. <laughs> it had to be tea. Why not coffee? I am drinking coffee. I ran out of W, so. Substitute it. It's pumpkin spice coffee, but I do love me some pumpkin spice. Uh, 
I am drinking tea. <laughs> I want coffee. Actually, I do want to start drinking more tea, especially at night. Because I don't, does tea have more caffeine than coffee, or is it about the same? I don't know. Iced coffee. Iced coffee is dope. And you're drinking water? I do have my water bottle right here. It's around for when my coffee runs out. Your tea has none. See, I don't like. Is it like decaffeinated tea, or is there like tea that, that is there like certain tea that's not caffeinated? I need to be educated. <laughs> I have, I have no idea about any tea. I did try black tea, and I did like black tea. Earl Grey, herbal tea, gotcha. I want to try all the tea. All right, we're gonna kiss her. I think we know what that creepy Frank Booth character would be thinking right about now. Ooh! 